morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I just want to tell you, talk to you guys about desires, distractions, and destruction. That's right. Desire, distraction, and destruction. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? A long, long time ago in South Africa, there was a mighty king who liked to go to war. And he liked to go to war for one of the vilest reasons. He had an overwhelming desire for beautiful women. And whenever he saw the beautiful women of another nation, he would want them for himself to increase his wives and his concubines. So he often conquered other nations, enslaved the men, killed the children, and took the beautiful women for himself. And so this made all of the nations around him hate him. And so one day in one of the nations around him, a powerful witch came before the king and the people and offered to kill the mighty wicked king. And everyone agreed. So what the powerful witch did, she cast a spell and she made herself into the most beautiful woman in all of the land. And she gave herself all of the most beautiful clothes and beautiful scents and ointments. And she went out to the nation of the mighty king. And when she entered into their borders, the people saw her and instantly said, oh, she would make a great wife for our king. He would love her. So they went and told the king about her. The king came and got her. And indeed, he wanted to marry her. And he said that she was so beautiful that he would marry her that night. And so the powerful witch went off to bathe and prepare herself for the wedding. And while she did this, she made a very special medicine that she mixed into a dish that she prepared for the king. And this medicine was intended to make the king go to sleep. So when they went to the bedchamber, she fed it to the king. He ate it and fell fast asleep, family. And when he did, she took out a knife that she had concealed in her bosom and she cut off his head. She cut off his head and took it back to her nation and showed them that she had successfully killed the king. And that nation, the very next morning, invaded the nation of the dead mighty king and destroyed it all. And it was known throughout the land that the desire of the king had led him to be distracted. And that distraction had led to the destruction of his nation. Have we ever been in a situation like that, family? Where we have allowed our desires to cause a distraction that led to our destruction? We are all human. Let's not play games. We have passions. We have urges. We have desires. We have wants. We have needs. We have things that we think about. Things that pull us in other directions. But we have to be able to, family. You have to be able to control that you have to be able to control those urges and release them when it is appropriate and hold them back when it is not because in life you have a goal you have a mission you have a purpose there was a reason that you came to planet earth and you are about to achieve everything that you ever wanted to achieve in life and do not let your destruct your desires distract you and cause your destruction be on alert today family be on alert and i know that you will be able to do this why because I know that you are awesome, you're amazing, you're wonderful, you're great, and you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.